Genspark have now released a browser and in today's video we're going to test it out. So on the channel we've already covered Perplexity Comet which I actually still use, it's really quite good. They have an AI browser, um, basically the best thing it's for is it's the best ad blocker I've ever used. We then have Norton Neo which I thought was pretty rubbish but gave it a try to test it out. So in today's we're going to test out Genspark. What is Genspark if you don't know? Basically, it's an AI agent platform, so they're not an LLM as such. I don't even know if they claim to be a proprietary model, like ChatGPT or something. They're just a framework, more than anything, like Perplexity. Now, for this, they have a bunch of different stuff you can see here. They do slides, sheets, docs, all of this different stuff. If we click on all agents here, and we can cover this in another video, if you're interested, let me know. But essentially, they do all of this stuff here, and they're really quite good. Um, I do rate them. I just think that their Gen Spark, the logo and their branding, seems a little bit uh, not very premium. Anyway, so they've got this Gen Spark AI browser. Now we'll maybe go and have a quick look at the video in a bit, but first we're just going to jump straight in. But the main feature that they talk about is this on device free AI. So one of the problems with AI, obviously, is you're sending out all your data. Now, with Genspark's AI browser, you can now use devices uh, offline with AI in it. So, if we come on over here, I think if we go to Genspark, so our, let's go to On Device AI, there we go, On Device Free AI, and from here, I've already downloaded this Gemma 22B, so 2 billion parameters. If we click on Add, you can see I can download all of these models. These, not really good for my computer, but... These ones I can download and I can actually run this offline right here in the Genspot browser, which is pretty cool. Now, the first thing I noticed on the browser before we go in and try it out, the main features of the browser we'll go and check out essentially is like talking to web pages, getting it to do stuff for you. But the main thing is when I opened it up, I was like, wait, am I still in Chrome? And I'm not still in Chrome. I'm in Genspot browser. But I was looking it up. I think what they're doing is, so we have here, Chrome, so this is Google Chrome, then you have Chromium. Chromium is an open source Chrome, basically, right? I don't even know if Google made it. Did Google make it? Yes. There you go. I thought, I would have thought so, with the logo. But anyway, basically it's a open source Chrome, so you can use it, you can fork it to make your own web browser, which is, I think, what Genspot's done here. So anyway, we're going to let's test it out for normal browsing, and then we'll go and check the on device for the AI and see how that is as well. So, first things first, let's see what's the latest in AI. Now it's gonna use Brave Search and Search here, so it's actually just used it like a normal browser, which I'm kinda of disappointed in. Um, I thought it was gonna, you know, actually give me some cool stuff. In regards to the fact it's using Brave, you can change that. So let's see if we go up to settings. Search engine, there we go. So we can actually change this to say Google if you wanted or DuckDuckGo, whatever. Um, DuckDuckGo is pretty good because it's like keeps you secure. Um, but anyway, so we'll just leave that as is. So I thought it was actually going to go and do some stuff for me if I write up here, but it doesn't look like it. So like, give me a 5k loop from Premark and Carlisle. Aha, right, so answer with the AI. Is this answer worth Brave AI though, not Genspark? Because if I copy this, I should put it into my normal Chrome browser, which looks exactly the same. Yeah, so that's feature of Brave, not Genspark. So I think the main feature for Genspark would be to use this here, which is Ask Genspark. Basically just sidecarring an AI on, so I need to sign up. I already did, but then... Deleted all my cash, so let's sign up. Right, there we go, I'm back. So I'm logged in now. So I should be able to use the sidecar and feature. So if I go here, let me go back to the latest in the AI news. If I ask Jen Spark, what if I can just ask it what's the latest in the AI news? And surely it can then tell me. Now the cool thing here would be if it can give me some example videos or you know uh, web pages and open them up for me automatically. That would be pretty cool. Um, it's actually taking quite a long time to figure this out. Open top three stories 
has tabs. I'll pre-populate that. Yeah, this is taking, taking ages. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm noticing all AI is taking longer for me. Um, and they also just seem to keep getting worse. Like, they come out and they're really good for a couple of days and then they get worse. They kind of tank. I've seen people talk about it. I might look into it and see why. But, I mean, this is crazy. This is taking ages. Well, I suppose, whilst that's doing that, should we look at the on-device free AI stuff? So we have on-device here, and we have this Gemma one. Let me ask it just the same thing. What's the latest in AI? Because I wonder if it's an agent or if it's just a model. Because if it's a model, it won't be able to tell me because it won't have the internet access. But if I say what's the latest and it does, I mean, this is taking so long. Come back over here. This is still going on. Crazy. Oh yeah, Chrome now has AI on it. Um, but it's only for certain users. I've updated mine to try and get it, but I don't have it. Um, you have to go to settings and then update and change, I think, your language to American English, but even still. Right, let's see. Holy moly, that is absolutely massive. Let's just say top five. Because I don't want all of this info. If I all that info, I'd have just gone to their website. Right, so this here, Gen AI. Wait, it's exciting to have it. Right, yeah, so this, I mean, this is definitely not from the internet. This is just kind of making things up, I think. I'm not making things up, but use it as brain. Whoa, oh, ah, oh, my eyes. What's happened? Why did it happen? What's going on? Why has it just gone to light mode? Singe my balls off. Sentence. I swear it's in dark mode. No. Not allowed, mate. But my Mac's in dark mode. Oh, I don't know. I've broken Gen Spark already. Um, this is all doing all this without me touching anything. Which would have been pretty cool if it done it, you know, without me getting kicked out. Right, so it's opened one here. It's opened another here. ChatGPT Pulse will check that out shortly for another video. So it's opened one. I, th I think there's bluish tinge. Supposed to mean that the AI is here. Oh, there it's opened the third one. But it's not opened them as new tabs as such. It's opened them as new windows, which is not ideal. And it's taken ages. Oh, the White House. Don't want to know what they're up to, man. Don't take paracetamol. That makes you autistic, apparently. That was a wee joke, by the way. Um... So, so it is kind of opening them up, it's kind of working, but I mean it's taking absolute ages to do it. So let me go back even to here, it's just taking up on my arm. Right, so yeah, stop, let's stop that. So, oh, so it went in light mode so that it could do its thing. Not impressed so far, let's do a couple other things. Let's go to, what we do, TechCrunch or something, what are they called? TechCrunch, is it? TechCrunch. I know I spelled it wrong, but that's fine. Don't you worry. So, if we go to TechCrunch, which is taking ages. Oh. Ad blocker. I don't think I, I haven't done anything. I think it natively or automatically must block ads. Because there are no ads here. The web stores. The Chromium web store or the GenSpark web store. Chrome web store, yes. I thought it was Chromium. Interesting. So, um... I want to just talk to the web page here, so continue without disabling. I wonder if it can do it itself. Continue without disabling. See what it says. Used up all my credits. So literally I got one for free. I got one query and three tabs opened up. And that was it. Yeah. Totally not impressed. Um, yeah, it's just not impressed. If you're wanting to use 
uh, an AI browser, 100% recommend Comet. It is the way to go. GenSpark, yeah, I'd say don't worry about it. It's not, not very good. Doesn't, it's not that exciting. Um, they do have on the release thing, if you want to go and check out the actual video. There we go. What's my laptop? That's slow. Anyway, they have this, and then they also have an MCP store as well. Now, which you can, I uh, think, oops, bring into the, the browser, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, long story short, I don't really rate it. I think the best, but yeah, best one so far is Comet. It'll be interesting to see what Google's one's like, because obviously all the data they have. But Perplexity, Comet, the reason that one I think is so good is because they are already enhanced for search. So it makes sense for them to, you know, dabble in browsers. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried out any of these browsers? Do you use them? Do you trust them going forward? Which, I mean, you already use Chrome or something. Will they get all your data? So, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.